I think you need it at the top of like, I think you need a, a CTA button or a link in the, the hero section of your newsletter, I mean, of your website. If your website is not the newsletter's website, like, right. Because some people have a separate landing page for their newsletter sign up, So you can easily just have a link to that. So I think that is a great way when someone is browsing your brand for them to be like, eh, I don't want to like get into a sales call conversation, but I'll just subscribe to their newsletter. Right. And mm -hmm. I will say that your open rate is a good litmus test of how well your brand is resonating, right? Because it's it's the do they or don't they want to engage with your content? Because at some point they said they might, and now they're like, where are they? So top of your website, I say if you have social accounts that have followings, you need a way for people to subscribe in your profile. And then you need to know the the rules of each, um, not the rules, but the best um, results practices of each channel. So if you're on LinkedIn, you're posting a link in the comments and not in the post because you're you're going to get um, better traction that way. But then additionally, people recommending your newsletter or getting on lists of good newsletters is probably going to get you higher um, little spurts of people signing up than all those other like various ways to be found, right? Because you're waiting to be found. But if you are influencing the right people who are recommending you to their audience, then that's going to get you the biggest growth. So that's why I emphasize like growing relationships. And it, the best feeling is when someone genuinely recommends you, right? Like they, mm -hmm. 